guys, welcome to Sunday Spin where we take the records that we're listening to and sharing it with you guys. I'm Terry, this is Laura um, from Ride Squad Media. Laura, who are you spinning this week? So this week I am spinning the latest album by The Queers. It's called Save the World. It came out on November 30th of 2020 on Joe Queers uh, label, actually All Star Records. And it is fantastic. It reminds me a lot of one of my favorite Queers albums, um, Love Songs for the Retarded. It's very uppity, it's got a lot of that rockabilly, that sing-songy, melodic, yet super fast, fun punk that we all know and love. Um, so if you like the queers, if you like the things that they do, then you will absolutely love this record. Um, it opens up with a song called Attack of the Five Foot Bitch, and as we all know, that is me. I am the <laughs> five foot bitch. Um, there's a lyric in there, it says she's only five feet tall. Um, but she's good at busting balls. Uh, don't be deceived because she's small. And that's me. That's me. I love that. So to, for, for to open up with a track like that, I'm already like I'm already in for it. Um, so it's 15 songs. It comes in at a little over a half an hour, and it's just nonstop. Everything is super fun. They've got a way with making everything lighthearted and also um, taking some serious topics and putting a little lighter spin on things too. So a couple standout tracks for me are going to be "My Heart Is in the Right Place." I really love that rockabilly vibe that the queers deliver. So that song really brings that out for me. Another one with that same kind of 50s vibe that I absolutely love, it's my favorite on the whole record, is gonna be If I Had a Girl Like You, and it's featuring Kelly of the Dolly Rots. So as soon as I heard her vocals come on, I was just like, oh fuck yes, this is the one. So that's the track that I kept kind of going back to over and over again. I really like Shit for Brains too. That used to be my nickname in high school. So it was uh, it was cool to see that on there and to listen to it because it's very relatable actually. Um, so you can pick that up over at All Star Records. You should go check it out right now. Terry, what are you spinning this week? Um, this week with camp planning. So yes, we are back in camp planning and we do have some news about that. So stay tuned. Um, I wanted something that was gonna like get me fired up because yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I am just ready to rule this world. So what better group for me to pick then war on women they came out with a 11 song uh full length uh this past october uh, 2020 and it's called wonderful hell and it is fantastic it's that riot girl right that feminist they are a co-ed band but holy shit do they ever bring it and shauna potter who's the lead singer i always like i don't know i picture her like singing behind a megaphone that's just how powerful and strong and just beautiful her voice is. Like she can rally anybody, I swear. She'll get your change just rattled. Now there were a lot of great songs on this album. Um, Laura, actually you have the vinyl. Um, you make sure you check, check this it out. out, you guys. Yeah, this was brought out by Bridge Nine Records and isn't it gorgeous? It's called, I think, Bone White Blood Splatter or something like that. I, I love it, so I can't wait for that. You'll see that as part of my crate whenever it gets here. But yes, um, a <laughs> couple of great songs on there. Uh, the album's called Wonderful Hell, and they do have that title track too, but Aqua Tofana, which is the first track on the album. If you don't know the story, go on the Google machine. It is an actual historical story. It's an event, and it was based in like the 16th century, I want to say, in Italy, and uh, some lady concocted some poison because her husband treated her like a piece of shit, so she took care of it. Um, other one, this is our, uh, this stolen land, which also talks about, you know, First Nations people and having their lands taken. Uh, another song to get you behind, uh, Wonderful Hell, which was the title track, was for, to get, like, people excited to vote. And this album, since it came out right before voting time, I'm sure got people just fired up. So, yeah, make sure you go check it out. Bridge Nine Records, uh, War on Women. Uh, Laura, this is our shout-out portion. Who are you shouting out this week? So, still rolling in with that Riot Girl vibe, I'm gonna have to go with Tsunami Bomb. They put out a four track EP um, and everything is is previous stuff. It's, it's not new material. Um, side A is gonna be two re-recorded tracks and if I couldn't love Tsunami Bomb anymore, I didn't think they could get faster. I didn't think they could get louder. I didn't think they could get more powerful, uh, but here we are. <laughs> here we are with this EP still standing on Alternative Records or I'm sorry, Alternative Tentacles, it is fantastic. Um, the B-side is going to be a couple live songs from a, a bootleg show. So everybody should head over to, to Alternative Tentacles and pick it up. It is going to blow your mind. It's going to get you excited for new stuff that they're working on. Um, yes, Riot Girl, until the day I die. That's all I have to say about that. Go check it out. 
Terry, what about you? Who are we shouting out this week? Um, so we have another video from our friends all the way down in South America, it's Brazil specifically, which is 69 Infernos. They actually remixed and remastered uh, a split that they did with Symphony of Destruction. It was released back in 2018 and man is it, I just discovered it like a week and a half ago and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for it because it's just that good. Um, it's skate punk. It's, you know, what's a show here without some skate punk, right guys? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so the album's called They Came From Faster Space and that title could not have been more right. This album is hard, it's fast, it is good. Uh, Symphony of Distraction was actually they did five songs each, um, and they're from the States, and they have a song on there called Chug. Wow. Uh, just that whole song reminds me a lot of like a combination of Lagwagon and Pennywise, and Lagwagon more for the vocals and the harmonies, but Pennywise for their style. It is excellent. I can't... I've been jamming to it all day. I actually made Laura listen to it before we started our taping today because it was just that good. Um, those, <laughs> Um, 69 Infernos, they're out of Brazil and they actually um, uh, released a video for this, I guess, with the remix and remaster, which is called Shining Day. And you can find it on this album. It is excellent. And you guys are going to get a chance to see it too. Now, um, yeah, so make sure you stick around till the end. A little quick announcement though for you guys. Um, we're going to be announcing camp in six days, Laura. <laughs> Yeah, so in six days on Saturday, what, uh, I'm sorry, the 27th is the day, I believe. So Saturday the 27th, tune in to Riot Squad platforms and Camp Punk Sylvania platforms. We will be dropping the new dates, our new location, our brand new lineup, events, ticketing information, literally anything that you could have to ask about Camp Punk Sylvania will be given to you on the 27th. Um, we are super excited. Our team, a huge shout out to them, has been round the clock working their asses off for this. So we're so excited to bring uh, Camp Pennsylvania to you guys and we can't wait to kind of spill the beans. So make sure you smash the subscribe button here. You go follow us on all platforms so you don't miss anything there and we will see you guys soon.